Bienvenue sur Train Sea World. Aujourd'hui, nous allons avec notre, avec notre TGV duplex de la SNCF sur la route de Marseille-Saint-Charles. Nous sommes bien à Train Sea World 3 verrijden vandaag op de route van Marseille-Saint-Charles met de TGV duplex van de SNCF van Frankrijk. Als ik jullie komen in Train Sea World, we gaan naar de districte van Marseille-Saint-Charles, samen met die TGV Duplex van die SSF van Frankrijk. Welkom in Train Zero 2. De dekondraai van de map Marseille Saint Charles. Met de TGV Duplex van de SSF van France. Welkom to Train Sim World 2. The immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. You've just been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. Practice by looking up This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so we're A heads-up display has appeared on the right-hand side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. This is the speed display. The current speed will be represented by a moving bar. The red marker indicates the current maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. These are the brake indicators. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. In the top right are the signal and speed limit displays. These feature an indication of what is approaching and a countdown distance to when they will come into effect. Some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. This train is ready to go. Push the indicated handle all the way forward to get moving.
Marseille Saint Charles station is a major terminal station in the second largest city in France, connecting high speed rail, including international services, with local regional trains. Sim World 2 allows you to ride and drive from an internal and external viewpoint. Let's take a look now while the train is in motion. We've only explored a small area here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to the beautiful south of France. Climb aboard the modern high-speed express TGV duplex train. Travel at speeds of up to 320 km per hour using the TVM430 onboard signaling system to move swiftly and safely. Drive from Marseille via Aix-en-Provence to Avignon. Along the way, don't forget to place route maps, hang TGV posters, restock first aid points, apply no trespassing signs, and repair broken cabinets. This is the LGV Mediterranean High Speed Line. Welcome to driver training here at Marseille. Today you'll be learning to drive this SNCF Series 200 TGV duplex in Camion livery. This brief introduction will cover critical driving controls and passenger operations, so climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's position, because this is where you'll be spending most of your time. To begin, you will need to press the Service Retention Cancel button to take control of this service. In normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead catenary via a pantograph. However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, you have to power the initial systems by priming the auxiliary battery. Now activate the pantograph using the normal and DC positions on the different rotary switches so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead catenary. The DC setting should be used in the area of Marseille. The LGV setting should be used outside of Marseille and the AC setting is used in other AC overhead line areas. 
Now that the circuit breaker has been set, lighting is automatically set when enabling the master switch, but make sure you use the low beam lights when passing other trains so as not to blind oncoming drivers. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Next, you need to do the brake test. This ensures that all the brakes are working correctly before you set off. First, press the brake hold button to hold the lead power car brakes into their current state so that you don't roll away. This does mean that during these tests you will not see the local. And now, use the brake neutral switch to disable the brake lever which will display the blue light indicating that the release portion of your brake Now that you've tested the emergency brake, you'll test normal brake operations. Hold the train brake control in a And that's the brake system fully tested. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. There are three driving modes on the TGV. Coupling and uncoupling. The speed is limited in this mode and is intended for coupling manoeuvres. Manual control. This is usual mode for driving on classic lines. And selected speed. This uses the speed selector control and is used by the driver on high speed lines to set the maximum cruise speed. To get started now, select the manual control mode as you are on the classic lines. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. For this introduction, you'll be driving as far as Aix-en-Provence. Finally, press the brake hold button and you should see the yellow light go out and hold the train brake in the release position to release the brakes. The train is...
Ja, fantastisch. Goeie uitleg. De TGV doet het niet. We gaan hem volom, volledig zelf starten. Veel makkelijker. Thank <laughs> you. 